Hi, today I will show you how to use Nearpod and how it will be displayed to the students. Then go to Google, select teachers account, teach, uh, Nearpod teacher, teachers Nearpod select and you will get one window like this. You need to log in if you have logged in before you can log in now otherwise you have to sign in. This is my window, this is my library, then we can go for Nearport library for lots of materials, select Nearport library, then you can select lessons from Nearport library, you need to select subjects, I am selecting science, then down grades are there which grade you want you can select now I am selecting grade 2 then we need to search the topic type the topic on the top near board library where we can type the topic plan parts we eat then I got this lesson then click on that then we can see the preview click on the preview then we can see the preview of the lesson now I will show you how to use it in the classroom live stream ok live stream click on the live stream live participation then we, we can go to live classes if you click on student page it will we can uh, upload it in the google classroom ok when we click on the live participation we will get the code code and shareable links are there we can select the code and link copy the code and link we can paste it in the online chat box then students can copy it and we, they can paste it now i will show you how students can do it then students can log in with the nearport student go to google and select nearport student they will get this window then they can copy the code from the chat box they can copy the code then they can paste it in the join a session place then click on that join then they will get window to write their name they can type their name now I am writing Raj okay, then join session easily they can join to our session life science this is the window I have opened so they can see the same time they can see the lesson life science we eat plan and when we change the materials they can also see the same time learning objective i am sharing the learning objective with the students students will get like same like that window so this is the windows of teacher and students now the poll the students poll they can select the answer and same time we can see what they are selecting the student is selecting student selected a then submit then after submitting they can edit also then student selected a teacher received a the option which student have student have selected that same option came to teachers window also and sharing the windows to the students students will get all the details what we are sharing in the window and which foods are flowers type your thoughts now the student uh, teacher is showing the question then student will get the question and writing area then they can text their answer there that that will be shown in the teachers window once they will submit we can see that here if the child needs to edit then even, uh, even after teachers response or feedback they can edit it Here we can give the, give these questions to the students and students can 
write draw and text their answers draw then they can select the pencil tool to draw then they can select the different colors the colors are available then text box is there then eraser is there like our paint window everything is there they can do it same time teachers can see their responses then then and their teachers can give the feedback accordingly they can edit their work as well After this, we can move to the plenary session. In plenary session, there is the quiz. There is the quiz, and we can conduct that quiz. Then, same time, we will get the responses from the students. Here also students can edit their option for answers after submission. If they want, they can edit. Here five questions are there. After completing the five questions, they can submit. Now lesson reflection. Our lesson is over. Now I will show you how to create quizzes. Our own way we can create the quizzes. Go to create. Select quizzes. Then select add slide. Then you will get condom area. These all condoms are there. Then go to add pages. And we can select the quiz. So we can type the questions here and options also we can give. After giving this, we can add. If we want to make more questions, we can go to add option. Then we can add. After selecting the answer, then save. Our question will be saved. Then go back to home. Oh, sorry, before that we can go to settings. We can give the name. We can give name to the questions. Then select weight and select subject. Then submit. Then it will be there in the library. You can see the quiz in your library. And after that, if you want to select, you can click on three dots. Then you can share with the teachers. And you can share with share using their email IDs. Then different ways you can share only. Review way you can share or otherwise you can share it with the edit editable form. Both the ways you can do it. Then enter their e email ID and send it to the teachers. Here I am not sending to anyone because it is the client. Select and send. You close it, go back to library. Then Next, once we will get some other teachers, what we need to do is, do is we need to duplicate it. Select duplicate, then it will come to this window. Then you can go to settings, then change the name, then you can save it. After changing, you need to save it. Change the name, then so I am giving put to H. Giving the name put to H. Then grade and subject is same, so I can submit it. And after submission, save and exit option is there. We need to click on that, then it will automatically um, updated in our library.
but here i did not save so in the library also we can save see save option save changes and click on that save changes it will be changed saved there now i am deleting this one because it is for file we can delete it also. it is deleted then quick launch four options are there we, we can use these options then one is the open-ended question draw it and collaborate mode these are very good we can use in between our lessons Thank you.